The following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, first canto, second chapter, text number twenty-four, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on November fourth, nineteen seventy-two, in Vrindavan, India. Parthipad Daruno Dhumas Tasmad Agni Shraimaya Tamasastu Rajas Tasmad Satam Jad Brahmadas This is gradual process of evolution. Parthipad Daruna. Just like raw wood, then when it is dry, then it is fit uh, for igniting fire. Then uh, when you ignite fire, first there is smoke, and after it is mature, the flames come out. And Agni, Srimaya, when the flame is there, just like we generally perform fire sacrifice, unless the flame comes, we do not chant the mantra or pour the ghee and the grains, because that is the uh, beginning of jagga. Sraimaya. Sri means Vedic jaggas. So our point is to come to the uh, platform of performing jagga. Uh, jagga means Vishnu, uh, the platform of satisfying Vishnu. This is the perfection of life. Dull, dull brain, uh, ignorance, just like animals. They are in the tamagun, ignorance. They cannot understand anything. So, Gradually, they are uh, <clears throat> promoted to the human form of life, rajogon. Generally, human form of life, rajogon, activity for creation. Uh, we can very well see animals, cats, dogs, cows, asses, and a uh, little civilized, engaged in sense gratification in a different way, very active, uh, passion. So these t- two stages of life will not help us, because our aim is to come to the point of brahma darsana, self-realization, ahaṁ brahmāsana. To remain karmis or remain animal like life, no knowledge, simply eating, sleeping, mating, that's all. And little advancement means the same eating, sleeping, mating, but in a polished way. Mostly we find in the Western countries the Aim is animal propensities, but in a polished way. Uh, suppose they live in very, very high skyscraper buildings, and the animals live in some cave, in some hole, in some nest. Uh, so, for living condition, improving the living condition, does not mean Brahma Darsanam. Brahma Darsan is another thing. Uh, improving the living condition, improving the eating condition, improving the sex life condition, uh, or improving the defending condition, just like human uh, civilization, they are discovering so many lethal weapons atomic bomb, so many things. 
So it is improving the defending condition. But modern civilization is in the opinion that if they can improve their material condition of eating, sleeping, mating, and defending, that is advancement of civilization. But that is not advancement of civilization. Advancement of civilization means Brahma Darshana. That is advancement. Because so long we do not come to the platform of understanding that I am spirit soul, I am part and parcel of the Supreme Spirit, uh, we are in the ignorance, in different forms. The example is given very nicely, just like raw wood, just from the trees, you cut the trees, it is raw. It is not immediately fit for burning, but when it is little dried, you can ignite fire. And igniting fire immediately, there is no flame, there is smoke. Then after the smoke, there is flame. And that flame is required. So this gradual process of evolution means one must come to the platform of understanding Brahma. Aham Brahma asks me, I am, I am spirit soul and I am part and parcel of the Supreme Soul. This understanding one must come. So for that understanding one has to come to the platform of goodness, Satagun. If one remains in the Rajagun and Tamagun, as we have explained, then we shall be entangled in this material world. We may get a different types of body. Even if we get the body of demigods, eh? our European body, American body, as they are understood, very advanced. So not only European, American, but there are other improved condition of life in higher planetary system, uh, they are all made of rajogun, rajastam. Uh, tato rajastam bhava, kama lobhada, because everywhere you will find the prominence of uh, greediness and lust. Everywhere, even in the heavenly planets, the king of heaven he is very, very much lusty. Uh, there are so many instances. He is very much fond of sex life, Indra. Uh, so this will not help us. We must come to the platform of Satogun, goodness, the Brahminical stage. Uh, then our life, our evolutionary process will be successful. Tamasastu rajas tasmat saptam jat brahmadasana. Gradually, evolutionary process. I think in Darwin's theory there is no such conception of coming to the point of satagon, goodness. They do not know even what it is, satagon. Simply they are studying the animal bones, that's all. But actually, perfection of evolutionary process is to come to the platform of Satogon, Brahminical stage. In other words, to become a Brahmana is the topmost platform of advancement of civilization. Brahminical culture is the perfect. Uh, hmm, advancement of civilization. That is mentioned here. So if one wants to come to that platform, uh, then one has to accept the form of Vishnu, as we have already explained in the previous verse. Sriyangsi tatra khalu saptatano ninangasu. Saptatano. 
Vishnu is the form of Satogon. Brahma is the form of Rajogon. And Shiva, Lord Shiva, is the form of Tamogon. So actually if we want our perfection of life, we will not be very much benefited by taking shelter of Lord Shiva or Lord Brahma or any other demigods. Other demigods, they are all subordinate to Lord Brahma and Shiva. All demigods are supposed, even great saintly uh, uh, rishis, uh, they are also sons of Brahma, Rajagom. Lord Shiva is also one of the sons of Brahma. So, either to accept uh, other demigods or even Lord Shiva or Lord Brahma will not help us because we have to come to the platform of Satogon. Uh, for that purpose, Satyatano. Satyatano means Vishnu. Uh, so we have to take shelter of Vishnu. In the Vedas, in the Rig Ved, it is said, <coughs> Tat Vishnu Paramam Padam Sadapasanti Sura. Vishnu Paramam Padam. Sura, those who are advanced in civilization. Sura, Sura and Asura. Asura means materialistic person, atheistic person, interested in sense gratification. That is called Asura. No Sura. And Sura means interested in advancement of spiritual life. That is called Sura. Uh, so, for the Asuras, the life is different. But for the Suras, their aim is uh, Vishnu Paramam Padam. Their aim of perfection is Vishnu uh, Paramam Padam. The supreme abode of Vishnu or the Vaikuntha Lok. So those who are actually advanced in civilization, those who are in the platform of goodness, their aim is how to go back to home, back to God. That is their business. It is not that to take to religious life for some material gain. Uh, dharmasya hi apabargas. Now, artha arthaya upakalpate. We have discussed this verse as to become religious means to become free from material entanglement. Not that to, to take to religious life means to, uh, I will say, to develop uh, uh, economic condition. Generally, people take to religious to make economic development very easily. Therefore, at the modern age, the educated public, they are not interested in religious life because they think that in primitive stage the people were taking to religious life for economic development. Actually, that is the idea because ordinarily people go to ask for bread in the church. Oh God, give us our daily bread. So modern advance in science people, they think, hey, what is the use of asking bread in the church? Why not take to industry? That is the way. In India, Especially, this is the situation. The government is thinking that Indian people, being too much religiously inclined, they have fallen down economically. Therefore, this religious sentiment should be stopped completely. It is not encouraged. Uh, here in Vrindavan, so many uh, pilgrims, they come from all parts of India 
now all parts of the world they are coming, but it is kept in such unclean state to discourage people not to come here. That is the idea. So that people, educated people, modernized people may not come here. They do not want. That is the policy I am seeing. They are introducing in the Vrindavan area so many industrial things so that the spiritual atmosphere uh, is to be killed. That is the policy is going on. Nobody, the chair, I mean the temples are neglected. No question of improvement. The whole idea is not to come here. Please do not come. They cannot say directly, but this is the idea going on. Uh, but uh, this is due to wrong direction of civilization. They do not know what is the aim of civilization. The aim of civilization is to understand Vishnu, the Supreme Personality of God. Uh, but they are missing the point. They are thinking uh, uh, motor tire civilization, uh, very nice road, and running motor car in seventy, eighty miles free, that is civilization. Not to understand Vishnu. That is the difference between materialism and spiritual. But we should not be misled by such conception of civilization. Our aim is different, and that is right different. I am spirit soul, you are spirit soul. Somehow or other I have been entangled with this material body, one after another. So I must get out of this entanglement and go back to home, back to Godhead, to Vishnu, and live there eternally, blissful life of knowledge. That is our aim. The materialistic person, they think these are all utopian thinking, conception, because they have no brain. They are no better than animals. Polished animals, that's all. They cannot understand. In the tamogo, uh, tamasa, tamasustu, tama and rajo, these two uh, qualities, material qualities are there. Uh, uh, that in the Bhagavad Gita there is verse, karanam gunasanga asa sadasad janma jonishu. Karana, why one is born in low grade body, why one is born in high grade body? Uh, the, what is the reason? The reason is stated in the Bhagavad Gita. Karana, Karana means reason. Karana asa sanga. Karana guna sanga asya. Because he is associating with some uh, uh, one of the three modes of material nature. Some one is associating with Satogon, one is associating with Tamogon, one is associating with Rajogon. So this is the reason. This is the reason that one is getting low grade form of body or high grade form of body. Karanam guna sangha asya sad asad janma janish. Uh, in another place it is also clearly state, stated, Janti Deva Brata Devan Sutrin Janti Vitri Brata. The Karanam Guna Sanghas. Therefore, uh, the first class civilization is that which associates with the modes of goodness, that is means Brahminical uh, civilization. Uh, truthful, satta, sama, dhamma, titikya, harjava, uh, jnanam, vijnanam, astikam, brahma, karma, uh, This is first class civilization. People must be truthful. Uh, they must be equiposed, not disturbed, not being disturbed by different situations. Uh, they must learn how to control the senses. They must learn how to control the mind. Uh, 
Samadamat. They must be tolerant. Titikya. Arjava. They must be very simple. No duplicity. Arjava. Jnana. They must know everything in full knowledge. Vijjana. Apply the knowledge in practical life. Asthikam. They must believe in the Vedic injunctions. Asthika. That is called Asthika. The atheist and, uh, uh, and theist. The theist believe in the Vedic injunction. Vedaishta sattva yaham That is theist. Not that I believe in God. They must believe in the injunction of the Vedas. What is said in the Vedas, one must believe. That is called theist. Uh, as we have given several times the example, the Veda says the cow dung is pure. One who believes in that, he is theist. And one who does not believe uh, in the words of the Vedas, they want to change, they want to misinterpret, interpolate. They are atheists. Bhagavad Gita, anyone misinterpreting, uh, giving wrong interpretation or according to his concocted interpretation. They are atheists. Theist, he will believe all the words of Bhagavad Gita as it is. Uh, as Arjuna believed. Sarvam etam vitangamanne jadavadasi kisha. My dear Krishna, whatever you are speaking, without any malinterpretation, without any change of word, I believe in it. This is Please understand. And uh, not like uh, the so called rascal scholars. It is not like this, it is not like that. I think it is like this. These are all rascals. Uh, so, uh, this is the process of civilization. Krishna consciousness means perfect civilization, perfect advancement of civilization according to the direction of the Veda. Uh, we do not concoct anything, any meaning. Just say, why you are reading this Srimad Bhagavata? This is the beginning of understanding Srimad Bhagavata. The professional readers, they immediately jump to the Ras Leela of Krishna. Uh, they think that Bhagavata means that Ras Leela of Krishna. Because it appears like ordinary boys and girls. They, they like it. No. This is the foundation of Bhagavad. Uh, the nine cantos must be thoroughly read. Then one can understand what is Ras Lila and what is Krishna. If one jumps at once to the platform of understanding Krishna's Ras Lila or Vrindavan Lila, he will be misled. He uh, will be misled. That's like so many rascals are interpreting Krishna in so many different ways. Uh, they are thinking Krishna as ordinary human being. So when he acts like ordinary human being, uh, they take him as ordinary human being. Therefore one should not jump. Uh, one should learn Bhagavat, Srimad Bhagavatam as recommended by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Secretary, Sarup Dhamadar, Bhagavata Gya Paro Bhagavata Sthana. One who is practical Bhagavata, one who knows what is Bhagavata, what is Bhagavan, uh, not from the professional reciters who are reading Bhagavata for Bailey's sake. Uh, now they are reading Bhagavatam, and if they get more money, they can become a sweeper, uh, because their consideration in money. They will give up immediately reading of Bhagavatam. But my Guru Maharaj used to say that it is better to become a sweeper and honestly earn one's livelihood than to become a false Bhagavat reader for uh, earning livelihood. Yes. Because they will mislead the whole public. Nobody will improve. And actually you have said that so many people, they are very much accustomed to attend the Bhagavad Sattaha, but they remain in the same uh, darkness as they were. 
no improvement. That is not possible. So, therefore, Basdev has taken so much trouble to establish the Bhagavat life in twelve cantos. One has to go uh, one after another, one after another, one after another. Not jumping. Dasamaskanda, the tenth canto, is the face of Krishna. So worshipping Krishna means one should offer tulasi on the on his lotus feet, first of all. Not jump over to see, to the mouth or to the face. Uh, so the first and canto are the two lotus feet of Krishna. One should begin worshipping Bhagavatam or the sound representation of Krishna by worshipping the first canto and second canto. We are reading the first canto. We are just worshipping one uh, lotus feet of Krishna, then the other, then the thighs. Gradually we have to rise to the face. The tenth canto is the face of Krishna. Don't jump over immediately. Read it, but try to understand from the very beginning. Uh, so our aim of life should be to come to the platform of satogon, goodness. Otherwise it is not possible. Uh, a, 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 a person that is Max Muller in the uh, depth of Rajagul and Pavagon, what he can write about Vedas and what he can understand Bhagavad. This is all nonsense. They are going to the translation of Max Muller. What he will understand Bhagavad and Vedas. He is in the Rajagul and Pavagon. Uh, uh, therefore it is forbidden that without becoming a Brahmin nobody should, should read the Vedic literature. It is forbidden. Uh, that I have already said several times. Without being a graduate nobody should enter the law college. Similarly, Vedas, they are meant for Brahmanas, not for the Sudras. Not for the uh, Satya, Chatya also, uh, they, they are, but under the instruction of the Brahman. Uh, so this is perfect civilization. One must know his own business. Uh, everyone should not attempt to understand Vedic literature, uh, remaining himself in the Raja and Stama Guna. Stama Luhada there are many so-called sannyasis uh, who went to your country. He was in fully in Rajan Tavagon. He wanted to uh, preach Vedanta. Therefore it was failure. Uh, nobody can do so. So uh, it is very clearly stated, Kamasastu Rajasthasma Satyamajad Brahmada. So one must come to the platform of Satyagon. Uh, Therefore we have got so many restrictions, just to keep him fit in the Satagon. No meat eating, no illicit sex, no intoxication, no gambling. If one indulges in these affairs, he cannot come to the platform of Satagon. Neither the uh, things will be revealed to him. Uh, he will remain in the darkness simply by uh, academic scholarship. It is impossible to understand. What is Veda? What is Bhagavad? What is Bhagavad? Thank you very much.